Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Now, the next 7 star event has been announced. It's going to be a 7 star Hisuian Typhlosion. Kind of fits being a ghost type and all around spooky season. Put it on screen right now. It's going to run from the 3rd of November to the 5th of November, so the next weekend. And then it will run again the weekend after that. Now, it's going to be a fire type terror. It does have stab moves with fire and ghost, so we're going to mainly be covering those. And then when the actual raid comes out, we'll do a proper guide for soloing and supporting. So it's safe to say it's probably going to be mostly special attacking. I'll put the stats on screen right now, but as you can see, its special attack is much higher than its physical attack. It could still have a couple of physical moves. But it's mainly going to be special attacking. Its hidden ability will be Frisk, that's probably going to be useless here. It will probably have a powerful fire type move like Flamethrower. And it could also have things like Sunny Day, will o -Wisp, so you want to make sure you're careful of those. So it has on its ghost type moves, its signature move is Infernal Parade. What this does, it's 60 damage, but it does more damage if you are inflicted with a status condition. So say will o -Wisp and then Infernal Parade, that's going to do a lot of damage along with sunny day we boost its fire moves i can see something along those lines it's going to be very dangerous but we have the perfect pokemon actually built recently to deal with it if you've not guessed it yet it's going to be manaphy now manaphy is a water type just a water type so a fire will not be very effective ghost will be neutral only has two weaknesses grass and electric i don't really see the typhlosion having grass or electric moves so manaphy is going to be a great choice here going to be going with the shell bell every time we deal damage we get 12.5 percent that back as health keeps us alive evs in special attack and hp or for survival you could even go hp and special defense our full special attack, half HP, half special defense. We can change it if we need to when the raid actually comes out. We have the modest nature, up in special attack, down in attack, max IVs and everything except attack. The ability, now this ability is where we're going to really excel if it is a Will-O-Wisp user. Called Hydration, it kills our status condition in rain. We have rain dance that will weaken its fire type attacks, cancel out sunny day, and cures of all stats condition at the end of every turn so no infernal parade decent damage no fire type attacks doing that much damage no sunny day no burn it's going to be amazing we have aqua ring that can be changed out for pretty much anything we don't 100 percent need the aqua ring it's just there nice to have if it does have a one or two physical moves we can even put chilling water there or acid armor we have tail glow and now this is what i really like about manaphy it raises the special attack by three stages when we use this so within two turns you can be on max special attack and if he does too much damage you could even replace aqua ring with say a calm mind use a calm mind then use a tail glow and then start your attack in you can do anything with this pokemon really seems like a really massive counter for this hisuian typhlosion and for your attacking move you can have scald or surf two very powerful moves but with this pokemon you'll probably destroy the seven star raid honestly now i will be releasing five physical attackers that are going to be great to use five special attackers that are going to be great to use and five supports that are going to be great to use will be done before the raid is actually out just because i like to build a, a lot of fun different ones to see what works see what doesn't and when the raid's actually out i will bring out a full proper guide when i know all of its moves and everything so I look forward to that thanks for watching we'll see you on the next one